Here we go. What remains of Edith Finch, everybody? If you just got here, a couple of technical issues to start out. Got about five minutes in. Starting fresh. We're good to go. Okay. We're on a boat. I don't know... I've talked about this, but I don't know uh, what this is all about. I don't know if this is, like, spooky. I don't know... I think it's just going to be a really engaging story that we're going to have to figure out. Uh, I didn't... Okay, so we've got flowers. This is our journal. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. Wait! I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I, want, I wonder what was scratched out at the beginning there. You notice how there was something that was, like, heavily scratched out? Hmm. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Okay. So, he disappeared when we were four. So that's quite some time ago. It's interesting that they still have these posters up. Uh, Amazon, I think you're right. Um, I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. The, the vibe of the voiceover for sure feels like 13's reasons why. Yeah, you nailed it. I love how that house looks, though. It's so, like... It's like a fairy tale. Orca's Island. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Seems to be the last time people were around. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. So, Brother Milton, Brother Lewis, if we look at the, um, this, I think, oh, I don't know, does this change over time? I wonder. Lewis, Milton, Edith, we've got this Sanjay, I'm not sure how that, how that plays a factor. Um, parents, I guess Don and Gus, kind of a weird way of reading this, but. Oh, that's. Cool. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Oh, look at the necklace that we have on. It looks like, uh, like an engagement ring on there. That would be more of an engagement ring than a wedding ring, I think. So, who did that belong to? Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Uh, Shadow's asking about the controls. Um, just normal, like, normal walking controls. Oh, thanks so much for the donation, Anonymous. Appreciate that. Uh, it's just normal walking controls. Um, when the little prompts come up, you click. That's all I've noticed so far. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But so now we have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay, so that's what's driving us back here, is the fact that... We've got unanswered questions, which means we probably... The family has some secrets, maybe? The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. 
The other interesting thing it does is that if you're looking away and some of those subtitles come up, it drags you back into view to kind of bring your focus towards it. wonder if the key is just... The key looks like it's more of a, um... Like a, like a lock, like a standard lock kind of key. Oh, look at that thing. That's cool. The house was exactly like I remembered it. Look at this thing. What is, it. like what? That is bizarre. More of those missing posters. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Look at, there's like, missing posters are everywhere. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. What? I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Okay. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh, could this be... I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. No, okay. We can peek inside. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. That's cool. I've seen games do uh, some pretty unique things with the subtitles, but this is, um, it's, it's cool because it's not a, obtrusive, you know? I don't see a way that we can duck or anything. I can't seem to peek inside there. Crawling through. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh yeah, did I say the subtitles are obtrusive? Yeah, intrusive. Either way. The power had been turned off the night we left. Okay. And is that night we left that seven years ago because of those bills? First time in years, I felt like I was home. Like but stacks of, of family, dishes. They were just memories of one. Like it's quite obvious that when we did leave, uh, we left in a rush. Like nothing's clean. It's just here. But I'm still not seeing how this happened like seven years ago. And that there's not, like, dust and, like, animals and stuff everywhere. Okay, so Edith, us, Brother Lewis, Dawn, Mother, Edie, Grandmother, Lewis Finch, this is the, the brother that died. Son of Dawn, great-grandson to Edie. So he was what, uh, 22? 22? Am I mathing that correctly? Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. 
Wonder if Molly's still around. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Like, part of me wants to say, like, is this all just based on memory? Or are we, like, are we physically not here? I'm not sure. But there's a ton of salmon. So if something bad happens and we get stuck in this house, we might get mercury poisoning, but... The table was still erect we'll when starvation. the night left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Like a bomb had gone off. Yeah, like everybody left in a hurry. Even like Edie in her wheelchair. The wheelchair didn't come with. Everyone just left immediately. But how? How does she just leave? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. It's Even like the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. <laughs> it's like, um, I don't want to say it's like hoardery, but like, look at the books everywhere. The books are holding up the TV. Books in front of a fireplace? Bad idea. Hmm. It's definitely cluttery, yes, but we go downstairs. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. So Barbara Finch looks like was a director or something. Um, but if we call him Great Grandpa Sven, if we look at this, okay, so here's Sven, here's Barbara. Why don't we call her like Great Grandma Barbara? You know? It's a bit weird. Looks like she worked on maybe horror movies or something. What's with all the bugs? We have a bug collector. Okay. I mean, to be fair, they seem like they're collecting kind of everything here. But. Another missing poster. My mom poster. wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Okay, so everything happened. Whoa. What? Look at some of these book titles. Like... Okay, these ones are mostly cooking. A Viking... No, they're all cooking. But these ones are not. Labyrinths. Look at- look at all the- like, insane. Oh, I can look through here. Edie Whoa. told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Whoa, okay. I was trying to see if that was like a keyhole, turns out- no, people. Alright. Uh, we could go up or we can go down. Let's go up first. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> gotcha, so that's what that was. Why would she... Why would she make all the, like... Why would she lock up all the bedrooms? 
Molly, 1937 to 1947? Oh boy. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. That's really weird. Uh, okay. This door is open. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Great Uncle Walter. Where's Walter on this thing? Here's Walter. Here's Molly. So, Molly... Hmm. This is weird. I like it. <laughs> Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. It's the brother. Does this unlock? No way. Really? What? Whoa. Turns that was out, the key that my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh, what? Okay, that's clever. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh boy. <laughs> That's really cool. The first thing that we find in the house is the lock for the key that we have. I mean, to be fair, it's the only lock that we found except for the one to the actual house, but... From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. So is this like his little area and she wanted to lock this off and have nobody change it kind of thing? Reading this. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh boy. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. We're gonna end up in Narnia. That's what's gonna happen. Oh no! Can I not go back? Oh boy. Okay. 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 One of the things about games like this that's um, it's an interesting, like, design choice is how, um, you know, like, we had the option to go upstairs or go downstairs. I mean, you only pick one, right? So I go upstairs. But then maybe I'll end up back in that same area. Maybe I'll never be able to go back there and see what was downstairs. Um, so, yeah, it's just kind of interesting the way that they do that sometimes. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly is the one, uh, again, she died when she was 10, and many, many, many years ago. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier <laughs> gerbil cage. That's pretty cool. I had hamsters when I was young. I was never into gerbils, though. Gerbils were more like rat-like. Being rat -like. inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Cool little octopus, I guess. But were people keeping gerbils as pets back in like 1947? Was that a thing? And like, how is all of this stuff? I don't know. Still something weird, obviously. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. Uh-oh. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was oh. starving, so I looked around for something to eat. And now we're Molly. Whoa. Okay. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh boy. Please don't make me eat gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind. Oh! 
Okay. That seems reasonable. Resourceful, if anything. I thought of- oh no, don't do it. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> Thank God! No! You must have been- She sent her to bed without dinner, why is she starving that much where she would consider eating her goldfish? Let's get real. Molly, Edie, and Sven. So Edie and Sven are our grand- wait. Wait a second. So... Dawn is our mother, right? Uh... Edie... is Dawn's mother. Oh, right! Yeah, because we're Molly. Yeah, okay, Edie and Sven are... her... grandparents, right? Am I... visualizing that correctly? Yeah, kids- kids are weird. It's just a fact. Okay, this door's open. This door's probably locked. Mom, yeah. can I come out now? Sweetheart! Oh. It's late. Go to sleep. But I'm starving and I might eat my fish. Oh, we're gonna go out the window, aren't we? I kept eating and eating. What is this? Oh, what is this? What? What is that? Is this even real? Or is this... I ate a lot of things that night. Oh, boy. So she wrote in the journal, though, that she was going to be gone soon or something? So, I thought maybe she was sick, which I guess could still be the case, but... Then I heard chirping outside my window. Mystic Envoy, uh, I have no idea what kind of game this is right now, to be honest with you, but it is it bizarre. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. But the writing's really good. I reached out for her. Oh, we're locked. Probably smart. And suddenly... Oh boy. Wait, what? I was a cat! What? Okay, this is a very unique family. So this is a dream, I guess. Oh, we can jump now. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. She's dreaming. Gotta be, right? No, she's gotta be dreaming. <laughs> you know there's a jump we're not gonna make. Probably this one. No. Nope. We're good. I need to have more faith. Bird's just teasing us. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. No, that's true. Maybe because this isn't real? Um... Popola Knight's asking Molly the dead one or the missing one? Molly's the dead one. But we're currently, like, seeing through her memories after we read her journal. How am I supposed to get up there? It's really cool, you hear the bell and the meowing, like that's cool. Ooh, did I see a nest up there? Something up there.
Look at this. The babies were all gone. What the hell is that noise? Is that us? I could tell she was getting really tired. I think we're the ones getting tired. I lost track of her. I don't even know where she went. Oh, here. Okay, that's literally impossible. And now, I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> I promised Dad I wouldn't- this is not the first time this has happened? I gobbled her up- Whoa! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, cool. We're actually controlling this, okay. Rabbits. So now we're a bird. Was the name of the cat? What was the name of the cat? Was it Molly? Can I get the rabbit? Going in. Wow. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. And then I flew off to find something bigger. What is happening right now? The cat being named Molly, not a coincidence, I'm sure. A mama rabbit. Oh boy. almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh yeah, no, of course. That makes sense. Oh, I, I'm controlling this. Okay. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, <laughs> what is happening right now? 